Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rain and this is Luna. <laughs> Today I'm going to be going through my books that aren't five stars but are some of my favorite books. To me a five star read is written really well. It has nearly no flaws in it. In my opinion it's the kind of book where I wouldn't really change anything about it. It gives you that five star feeling. It's just perfect. Now a lot of these books are 4.75 stars where it was just missing like a little something or there was something a little slow in the middle or the writing didn't resonate with me as much or something something was missing but I adored the book. It was still an all-time favorite for me and I think books don't have to be perfect to be your favorite so I'm gonna be going through all of my books that aren't five stars but I absolutely adore and are some of my favorite books I've ever read. Now the first book on my list is Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead by El Cosimano. This is the second book in the Finley Donovan series and I absolutely loved it. The only reason it didn't get a five star is because there are some things in it that didn't make the most sense, like there are some plot holes in it, but I loved it so much that I didn't even care. I would definitely reread it and it's one of my favorites. I would highly recommend continuing on with the series. The third book took a little bit of a dive for me. I wouldn't necessarily recommend Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun, and I haven't read Finley Donovan Rolls the Dice yet. I am going to read it. I do own it, but it's not high on my TBR list. But I think number one and two are nearly perfect books and I love them very much. Next is another 4.75 star read by Frida McFadden and that is The Teacher. This book is disturbing <laughs> which is why it didn't get a five star for me. It has a lot of trigger warnings in it. It has grooming. It has inappropriate relationships with underage students. It is gross, so <laughs> that's why it didn't get a five star for me, but it is riveting. Like it really just grabs your attention from the beginning and I couldn't put it down. I read it in one sitting. If you can handle the trigger warnings, I would definitely recommend The Teacher. The next one is a four and a half star for me and that is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This book is a science fiction thriller. It's about this man who's abducted and he gets knocked unconscious when, when he comes to his life that he's known is no longer his life. He was never married to his wife. He doesn't have his kids. So he has to discover why this is, what happened, and how, if even possible, can he get his life back. Next is another 4.75 star and that is Funny Story by Emily Henry. It didn't get a five star just because I didn't love it as much as I loved book lovers, but I adored this book. I loved the male main character. I really enjoyed the female main character. I loved that she was a librarian, so it was kind of bookish in that way. I love books that are bookish. I loved the premise. I would really highly recommend it if you're in the mood for a romance, and I love Emily Henry in general. Next up is a 4.75 House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This one had a little bit of a slow moment in the middle of the book, but I adored it. I thought it was heartwarming, it was sweet, it's a cozy fantasy that has some great gay representation in it. It's with these magical kids that are orphaned and they have all of these gifts. There's the literal antichrist in it, which is one of the kids. I really loved it. Give it a read if you're in the mood for a cozy fantasy. Speaking of cozy fantasies, I have a couple more here. So actually the next three are all cozy fantasies. So I have Tress of the Emerald Sea, 4.75 stars. In the middle, it was a little bit slow. There's a lot of the book that's spent on a pirate ship. I thought they were on the pirate ship a little too long, which is why it wasn't a five star for me. But as you can tell, I <laughs> adored this book. The writing in this book is maybe my favorite writing that I've ever read by Brandon Sanderson, by the way. This was like a secret project that he, a book that he wrote for 
I don't know if he wrote it for his wife, but he showed it to his wife and his wife was like, you need to publish this book. Expelliarmus. <laughs> yes, she does know a couple spells. Next up is The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. I just read this book. It has beautiful sprayed edges and I tabbed it quite a bit. This is like a cottage core cozy fantasy with a sentient spider plant, <laughs> which is kind of like the sidekick of the book. There's some stakes to the book, but it's not too much to where it isn't cozy and makes you feel warm and fuzzy so I would really recommend it. Next I have Forged by Magic by Jenna Wolfhart. This is part of the Falling for Fables series and this is the first book in the series. It's about a half orc who falls in love with an elf. If that sounds up your alley check it out it's on Kindle Unlimited. So are the other two books one of which I have read and that is Brood in Magic. The next book in the series that I haven't yet gotten to is Mind and Magic, but I am going to read it sooner rather than later. I'm just waiting for the audiobook to become available, but as soon as it is, I'm going to be on it. Last but definitely not least is Hidden Pictures by Jason Rakulak. I'm so sorry if that's that's not pronounced correctly. This was my first horror book ever. It's a horror thriller. It's about a nanny who's recently come out of rehab. She's newly sober and she starts working as a nanny for this family and she stays, she's a live-in nanny. So she's working closely with Teddy, who's the son, and he starts drawing some really disturbing pictures. She has to figure out why he's drawing these pictures, what's happening. Is there a paranormal element? Is he drawing something that happened on the property before? Is it just from his imagination? Like what is happening with this kid? And she tries to solve that mystery. So I would really highly recommend it. It is creepy, but it's really good. So that's it. Those are some of my favorite, favorite books that I've ever read that I didn't give five stars to. It just goes to show you that just because a book isn't perfect doesn't mean it's not wonderful. I think we need to accept that a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching. If you did, leave a comment of a book that you didn't give five stars, but that is a book that you think about often, that is a favorite for you let me know because I will put it on my TBR. Subscribe if you feel so inclined and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.